Welcome, welcome to Amiibo Tournament number three of 2023, hopefully. I don't know if I'll get this uploaded before the year's over. In fact, tomorrow, well, today is the last day of no of uh, December 2023. But you know, it's only af it's after midnight. It's not like you know, news news New Year's Day yet. That's tomorrow. But anyway, guys, welcome to my third Amiibo tournament. It's finally ready. Oh boy. And I did make some uh, adjustments to this one, so no items. And I made sure that all the stages were legit as this is a tournament. So it's a 1v1, uh, three, uh, to three minute time uh, battle. And yes, I did 32 a game and I said last turn I would stop doing that. I don't know what's wrong with me, but whatever. Soul Eater versus Yin and Yang. You guys remember Yin and Yang. Um, so I'm curious of how this is going to go. Soul Eater I have not really trained that much. I mean, I've trained him a little bit, but... Because I think the only... The only thing he was doing was he was uh, going for up smashes a little too uh, too much. And in case you don't know, Soul Eater is a quick. He's quick with uh, lightweight floaty jump and I think oh yeah, easier perfect shield. And he has more defense because Ganondorf already hits hard. So I just fixed his, fixed his weakness of being slow, having a bad recovery, and being a bit more tanky. Now this may seem unfair. But trust me, uh, both both sides have have a good have a ooh. They both have an advantage. Oh, nice pit. Wait, oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, Yin, Yin and Yang, your your parry is awesome, but you stop using up B. Okay. You know what? I forgot to mention. This is the first time they're fighting a Ganondorf. I don't think they fought a Ganondorf before. I think I'm not sure. And Yin and Yang, you guys saw the training I did with him in Cloud or Zenblade. So, yes, Zenblade's in here too. Mostly the Amiibos I trained from this point and a couple of other uh, faces are in here. But, like I said, every tournament I'll try to make them new. So, that means you probably won't see them in the next tournament for 2024, which I don't know when. Come on. Oh, and Yin and Yang is tricky, in case you don't know, because tricky is a defense ability, but, you know, for those who play Duck Hunt, most people go would play on the defense versus those offense. Oh, boy. What are you doing? Why are you falling into that? Okay, he finally got a KO. But, unless he... Yeah. Yeesh. He fell right into that. He fell right into the up tilt. Okay, that would have been awesome if it can if that connected. He has a little bit of trouble trying to connect attacks or combo attacks, but you know, the more he fights, the more he learns. Okay, I was say, don't you fall in? That's what knocked you out. You gotta, you gotta. Okay, that was weird. He kicks the can. It explodes, he takes damage, but it kind of like made Gandorf let go. Oh no. Oh, okay, good pick. Why are you up being? Wrong way. That would have been the perfect, that would have been a perfect opportunity to do the forward smash. Nice try, Yin. Nice try, Yin and Yang. Oh, and, and Ganondorf does... You know what's really cuckoo is that I gave Soul Eater's easier perfect shield. He did not perfect shield that much. I think that was the only first time he perfect shield. Because Ganondorf is apparently stubborn when it comes to playing defensive. He's always on the gr aggressive side. Alright, next up, Athena versus Plun Knight. Um, Athena... I did give her a retrain. I believe she's tricky, no weakness, has lightweight, loaded jump. I think she might have the same thing as Ganondorf. I don't know. I want to say I gave her easier perfect shield because Palutena does not perfect shield that much. And as for Luigi or Plun Knight, he is a quick with 
Um, I think landing. La I forgot. Stop that! Stop that! Stop that! Why do you keep taunting? Okay, you know what? I know why he's doing that. Because for some dumb reason, I was trying to use that taunt where he kicks the ground, and that's a spike. Because I found out that Luigi, the Luigi Amiibo will actually attempt to do that if they see an opportunity. But I don't know if it only works when they're aggressive. Because I don't want my Luigi to... Wow. I don't want my Luigi to be too aggressive. I want him to kind of mix it up with quick hits. Because the problem is, I, this, I've been retraining uh, the Luigi Amiibo quite often because there are just times Luigi doesn't... He just... He, well, there are times he jumps too much. Like, when I give him a good recovery, he's always jumping around. Like, I kid you not, he's always jumping around trying to, like, wait for the opponent uh, to use an attack. It's like, that's not what I want you to do, Luigi, but you do it anyway. What the hey? So I've been retraining him. I might have to make him an attack type or make him aggressive, but I'm, I don't want him to do anything stupid. Like, he just goes in and forward smashes. But, uh... Well, we'll see. I don't mind him, like, forward smashing. It's just don't spam it. Because I don't know how his pro his AI is, but I mean, it's not that bad. It's just, you know, when you get, make him different, he just thinks of something weird and it just doesn't work out. And I retrained Palutena. Okay, see, so there's a forward smash. See, I retrained Palutena um, because she had that problem of, of using side B way too many times and missing. Because usually side B is nice, but if you miss, you're wide open to get punished. She literally spammed it too much and kept getting punished. When I say punished, she kept getting a grab, she kept getting attacked. She and there were just times she kept spamming it in hopes it would hit the opponent. Just wow. <clears throat> Come on. Now I think Ichi or the Plun Knight's in the lead. Because so far, they've been trading blows lately, or trading knockouts. Ooh. If he gets this knockout, I think he wins. Yep. Plun Knight wins. Athena's nice, though. She just needs more training. She just needs to burst more characters. I think I sent her on a journey already. Uh, well, yeah. I knew it. Plun Knight won, because he kept going for those up smash. Because uh, Athena did exactly what he did when I before I retrained him. Yeah, so they would have had a sudden death if he didn't knock her out. Alright, Broken Fire versus Miranda. And I, I think I told you this in one of my other amiibos, but I'll say it again. The reason why Roy, who used to be Shine Blade, is now Broken Fire is because the Roy amiibo that I had before I was creating the amiibo tournament 2, Roy stopped working. His amiibo, his uh, NFC chip or NFCW, whatever it's called, chip, stopped responding. I tried on the 3DS. I tried on the what you call it. I've been looking up of how people fix this. I've been looking up on how to fix this, but really, everyone says that if it doesn't work, you have to get a new one. And Roy cost like 30 to 35 on Amazon years ago. I think that's how much he cost. I care. You know, I think I got him and Chrome together years ago, So, Roy, and Roy was new, so I couldn't understand why after all these years, he finally has, he finally breaks. So I decided to look up of what people, uh, when people open their amoeba, what's inside, and when I saw what was there, I could see the thing. So it made me think, uh, there are two things that could have worked out. One, um... Send the uh, amoeba, not send, but uh, buy one of those NFC chips and then just, you know, get the one for Roy, stick it on and then fix it without damaging the amoeba or break your amoeba open and then see what's wrong with the thing. And I went with the second one. I broke, I tore my amoeba Roy open and I also had my, I also took my frustration on him and broke his hand off. Go me, because that's how angry I was. I even let my mother's pet dog chew on him. <laughs> Yeah, that's how crazy I am. But after after figuring stuff out, uh, by taking the chip out and letting the air out, it actually started working. So like when I scanned the thing, it said, "Oh, this is Roy." And I'm like, "Really? It works?" And then when I reset it, it said, "This is Roy, Sharp or Shine Blade." And I'm like, 
Wow, it worked. So let me go ahead and erase this so that it doesn't corrupt or mess up. Since then, Roy's been working fine. So I had to tape him up a little bit, but he's better. <laughs> so I decided since I did all that to him, I call him Broken Fire. And I did make him stronger and gave him like a better uh, recovery. It was just a matter of him trying to not dog on spam forward smash. And I'm just trying to get him to counter, but he counters when he feels like it. Yeah, I gave him additional air jump, and I, I think I gave him only jump and additional air jump because he's already fast, he doesn't need lightweight, and uh, well, it's either I gave him an extra jump or I gave him floaty jump, because if he has an extra jump and he falls slowly, but it doesn't matter because if he's too low on stage, floaty jump won't really save him, but if he has jump, he has a better chance, so I just, that's I think that's what I gave him, just jump. And I wasted that whole time talking about Roy. Next time, since Miranda won, or Min Min won, I'll uh, talk about her when it's her turn again. Probably won't be until next video. But I actually can't tell you because I forgot what she has. Seriously, I forgot. Ooh, Star Nebula versus Leo and Lily. AKA Samus versus Ice Climbers. I do need to train the Dark Samus, but I don't feel like it right now. Nor do I feel like getting one. I had a lot of trouble training Samus because I had no idea on how she fights. I was only going by what other how other players fight. I just literally made this Samus a floaty, like a floaty. Uh, I want to say she's normal because Tricky. She only has two projectiles, which is her. No, I did make her tricky. I made her tricky because here's what I said to myself: uh, Samus will be tricky while being defensive, while Dark Samus, when I get her, will be attack but will be technician which is like an aggressive thing since you know dark samus is the villain and mostly goes for go for uh, quick hits or you know strong attacks if you want to call it that yeah i don't think samus has ever fought ice climbers so i'm surprised this is going well for her yeah see she does not know how to land the grappling shock thing because the ice climbers are small like she's never fought small opponents and yeah she has a very high jump uh light wind and floaty jump because even though samus's recovery is not bad if she goes too low she's doing and if she goes too far she does not know how to use the morph ball like jump technique so you know just like corn the computer corn doesn't know how to use this the back air to push themselves closer to the stage so you're forced to give them a better recovery so they can at least take their time trying to get back without being you know spiked can you guys believe though that 2023 is almost is really about to be over in like another it's midnight, well, 1241, but it's like, it's going to be over before we know it, and we'll be into 2024. I know it was just a couple of days ago that I uploaded uh, some videos and a Christmas video, but my goodness, I can't believe we're already, like, about to, we're about to say goodbye to Doggone 2024. Man, and we're all just getting older. Time flies, like, it flies a little too fast, because I won't lie, each time we, we leave the old year and enter a new year, it's just crazy. It's just flipping crazy. I mean, 2022, and it was going on this year. I can't even remember what we were doing. I know the fact that we were we were just saying Happy New Year, but it's like this feels similar to last year, but it wasn't. But I guess by similar, it, it was peaceful. I guess tomorrow everyone will be seeing what their goal is. <laughs> Ice Climbers won, huh? Alright. I figured because Samus was struggling with a lot of, you know, trying to do the electric shock thing. I'm proud of her though, because I did teach her to do that. Just has to learn to deal with the uh, smaller opponents. Ooh, Moonshine versus Traveler. I really gotta think of a name for Hero, but I can't, cause I can't think of anything. Just Traveler, because he, 
looks like the type that would travel to, to sell you information or to sell you items, but also he has to carry something to defend himself. A critical down smash, that's pretty sad. <laughs> I had to retrain Hero because Hero was spamming the side B too much and uh, he I gave him terrible, terrible uh, skills or support skills so I decided to remove that. Like I gave him lightweight floaty jump and I think it was perfect shield but the lightweight and flow jump he doesn't need because he uh, well excuse me Floaty jump I left him, I gave him already, but the lightweight he did not need because when he gets the accelerate, which is part of his kit, he can actually just, you know, save himself. He also has like zoom and other things to help him recover. So I just gave him floaty jump so he can have a better chance of finding the right skill. But I think he has floaty jump, I think easier dodging, uh, dodging and perfect, or not perfect, but a stronger shield, I think, I'm not sure. That was a perfect, that was a beautiful parry. The only thing I will say is that I did let the computer fight him a little more than me, because I was not doing too well with Hero. I think I, I was just teaching him how to use the down B, and making sure that I don't act, don't use the wrong one. Like, I used everything except for Kamikaze, but the problem is the computer used it once to, K, to try to KO him, which did not work, but did uh, hurt him. And I remember the amiibo activated by accident, but here's the thing, the computer only activated because they were at like over 100, uh, I think they were like 182%. That makes sense if you're about to perish and you want to, you know, t do damage or take them with you, but the AI on the amiibo doesn't know that. <laughs> yeah, I hope that, uh, I hope that, what was it, 8% or 10% 10, 10 heal was, well, how much? I hope that percent was worth it, because you got KO'd for that. <clears throat> okay, I will say this. It's nice that he's using his down B, but he really needs to not use it so much because it consumes his magic. If he runs out of magic, he's gonna fall to his doom. Also, I really wish he would stop using side B so much. I know it's in his program, but he's really gotta stop spamming that because that literally drains his magic. Because I was trying my best not to spam that too much. Like, I did use it, but it was like a quick hit. Because I was using the smallest or weakest one, not, not the big one. Because the computer spams that move way too much. Uh-oh, sudden death. Stop bouncing! Oh my goodness, see, I saw that. Why are you bouncing off his head? Darn it, Moonshine, you just out- you just got shined by Doggone Traveler because you played around. And yeah, I went with the Dragon Quest VIII hero because Dragon Quest VIII Journey of the Curse King was the first Dragon Quest I played when I was a teenager. In fact, I still get to play the 3DS version. But uh, I heard the ending and a couple of other things were added to make it slightly different from the original. But uh, I don't know when I'll be able to get it. So we got King Zilla versus Phantom Dragon. King Zilla actually embarrassed himself last tournament, and I think I gave him a slight better training. I also have another Bowser, which his name is Emperor, but uh, he's he's stupid, so he's not involved. Ooh, that was close. Well, I had nothing to say because I could see the weakness of uh, Kingzilla. He's slightly better, but still has some problems. Oh my goodness, I still remember when he fell off the st he got himself KO'd off the stage twice for nothing. I think it was the Halberd stage, the Kirby stage, I could be wrong, I don't remember. But that got removed. Because uh, after that happened, I don't know if maybe he's not familiar with the stage, because I don't think... Uh, Actually, I think that stage is fine if it's Omega, but yeah.
Yes, he's going for the... Here's the thing I don't like. Bowser always tries to go for the side B in the air, but he doesn't use it on the ground. You don't know how many times I spammed it on the ground, but he only uses it in the air. And he's on Versatile as well. Because Versatile Bowser would almost spam the forward smash back then before I had to retrain him. But I won't lie, I kind of regret it because he was winning a lot for spamming the forward smash. But I mean, this one is just not as smart. It might be because I didn't train him properly. Hey, Phantom Drug, you have a counter. You gonna use it or what? Get him! Really? Oh, you finally use it, but you mess it up. Oh boy. What a commentary I'm trying to do. It's me complaining, sorry. Ooh, okay, that was a nice dodge. That would have been a perfect opportunity, but Bowser got... S okay, that was a tricky hit, but now you gotta survive. Now you have to serve... Yep. Ah. It's obvious who won. It's obvious who won. Uh, oh, sudden death. Don't goof it up. 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 Don't taunt him. You idiot. You. Z okay. Zilla, you are a moron. You are a freaking moron. He had it, but he down aired. He's not used to the Pokemon stage. If he didn't down air, that would have been a victory. Why couldn't he, like, side tilt or side tilt or down a tilt something that was quicker than a down air attack my goodness okay enough complaining Lumi Lumi Lumina versus Orasso Lumina is a newcomer I did not train her on camera I decided to train her off camera and she's a special inkling you know why she's the green inkling girl from that was the alternate color from Splatoon 1 yes I bought that amoeba I bought that inkling and I trained her I wanted to get a green outfit, but the only uh, green outfit they had was the only the only green was with the boy though. The girl was the uh, Agent Three, uh, this character, this color, and I think the the orange one, which is the default, and in the school uniform. But they didn't have a uh, the female green one. The only green they had was the male Inkling, the Inkling boy with the uh, mask on. So I just went with this one just because I like this color over the others. Um, now Arasso also got a retrain. Uh, he used to be defensive, but then I switched him to quick. So he does quick hits while I think recovering and having a stronger shield. Yeah. Because I think earlier he was just big in defense and I think I had like a shield healing but I removed that because when you play Lucario when you're hurt you're trying to survive and not you know and not die so easily which is why I made him defensive but it's pointless if he's you know if, if he plays too defense defense if he plays too much in defense it won't work out especially when that was a counter awesome it just doesn't end well when you're trying to get him to take down the enemy Whoa, excuse me. She, I think he tried to dash deck and she smacked him with the ink brush. Maybe she tried to go for it again. But yeah, I thought I would try something different where Lucario will, will be a quick hitter and will try to do a little damage to you. So far, I'm interested. I'm proud that he's, you know, trying to land it. Ooh, parry. <laughs> you don't know how many times I've been trying to teach him to parry. Cause, oh, he messed. Wait, no, he got it. I was gonna say he messed that up. No, he got it. Also, when he was before his training or his re retraining, he could not land his counter properly. His double team, I think, is what it's called. He could not land it right, but he's starting to land it properly. Yeah, 
Lumina, Lumina won that one. Why? Because, well, she took him out quicker than he did. Or no, took him out before he could take her out. Oh. Oh. <sighs> I forgot she was an attack type, so she had an advantage, so she was more aggressive than he was. Attack beats grab. Alright, Felicia has returned versus Moon Magic. You guys should know who Felicia is. She is my favorite Daisy amiibo because she's weaker than the rest of the amiibos, but she's wild and smart. The only problem is she's going for a little bit too much grabs, and I think this is her first time fighting of Mithra and Pyra. Okay, not bad. Don't spam that, don't spam that. The one thing I disliked about Peach and Daisy is when they spam that, you know, air kick move. Because I know it's in their program, but I mean, the computer does not spam it that much, but the amiibo does for some reason. And I know, and they made it hard coded, so even if you don't get hit or, or don't, or you don't get knocked out, they still use it. But I mean, I feel like to get them to not spam it, you have to choose the right person. Whoa, personality. Careful there. Oh, that was a tilt. How did she dodge that? Oh, jeez, that was a counter. Yeah. Come on, Felicia. Come on, Felicia. Oh, okay, I was about to say, she bounced, she like, foot stole off her, and she just... These amiibos are something. I wonder if, if, if there's gonna be any new Nintendo... Actually, no, well, I've heard rumors that about the new Nintendo Switch 2. Or the Super Nintendo Switch, as they called it. Also, too, countdown. When when New Year's Day comes and goes, we have January, February, March, and early April before they shut down the Nintendo Nintendo service, the online Nintendo service for both the 3DS and the Wii U. So probably within April, a lot of people are going to be online playing the Wii U and the Nintendo 3DS. Because after that, they shut it down and they'll be strictly focusing on the Switch. Oh no, that KO'd her. I, th I think that might have cost her the battle. I think that might have cost Felicia the battle. Yup, doggone it. Moon Magic stole the, stole the knockout at the last second. Let's see. Oh yeah, I had to cut that out. Never mind. <laughs> But yeah, it, I forgot. Um, I had to. I think uh, I had to do something. My mother was. My mother needed help. And I had to leave the screen on, and I wasn't paying attention of how long it was. I just kind of cut to the next one. But yeah, she was one point away, and that that she lost because of that. Viper Man versus Star Phase on. I won't lie to you. This is an interesting matchup. You got you know the secret uh, military Viper Man, and then you have the Galactic Warrior without her armor, her powers, Samus, or Star Phase on. I actually did my best to make Star Phase on smart, but this is the best I could do. Sam Samus' Zero Suit is just difficult, because they made a lot of changes to her. I remember I saw someone, I forgot their name, but someone who was a, a Zero Suit main. Okay, I didn't, I didn't, okay, that's the second time you pulled that trick on her. I mean, that's the grab, you push down and then you push up tilt and they can't move because you're already, they are, because you're, you're stuck. Unless they do it a second later. 
Someone said that to describe Solid Snake as a fighter in this game, he's a very, very stiff, slow and stiff ballerina. His, that's what his attacks feels like. <laughs> Can you guys remember the time when we first saw Solid Snake on Brawl? In fact, I real I didn't see him for the first time until I played Story Mode. Because I think unlocking all the characters might as Toon Link, Wolf, and someone else I can't remember. But Toon Link and Wolf, I didn't unlock them until... No, not Wolf. To Toon Link. But apparently in Story Mode, there was a way to get to them. But I just didn't know at the time. But I looked it up and found out. And when I did it, I met them. So you don't have to play the game to unlock and you just unlock it through story mode. But man, like can you imagine, which, just a question if you guys want to answer in the comments, which Nintendo console was the best console? Was it the Nintendo when it all started, like the Super Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt cartridge? The Super Nintendo with RPG, Mar Super Mario Kart, or, and probably when Final Fantasy 1 and all that came around. The 64, Star Fox 64, Super Mario 64, well, the other way around. Super Mario 64, Pilot Wings, Star Fox, you know. Or better yet, the GameCube, because a lot of people are waiting for the Nintendo Switch Online service to release the GameCube games, because they got the Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and the Game Boy Advance. Where's those game cubes? Also, are they gonna put the 3DS on the Nintendo Switch? I hope so. I mean, if they're gonna shut the service down, then they might as well do that. I mean, even if we have the consoles, or we hold on to our consoles. By the way, this is funny. My sister wanted a, a 3DS for Christmas, but we had trouble finding a 3DS because due to Nintendo stopped selling them, they became difficult to find. They're, they're all used and, and some are rare now. So when you, if you ever decide to get yourself a 3DS, take good care of it. Because if you break it years later, you may never get another one again. Oh, I already know who's going to win, but I won't say who. But let's see how it goes. I could be wrong. I need to f I need to finish uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 1. I have not... I don't have Xenoblade Chronicles 2 yet. And I know they released a 3 as well. Okay. Dark Shadow has a weird habit of of doing the up B as a following combo, even though I don't do it. I didn't teach him that. I mean, he tries. It's not so bad. Oh, <laughs> that was obvious. Why did you dodge? You could have. You could have. Uh, no. Well, I'm surprised he landed that. Oh, I thought he was going to parry that. No, he got hit. But yeah, which one was your favorite game systems before the Switch came out? Because, I mean, when it comes to Nintendo games, I want to say that... The Nintendo... Oh, that that's that's defeat. Because he got... I... <laughs> okay, Sylvia, calm down. Okay, don't you be the queen of disrespect. Oh my goodness, she kicks him off, and when he tries to recover, she just stomps him off stage. That was rude. <laughs> Uh-oh. That's what she gets for being disrespectful. She gets burned. Oh, man. That was funny. Ah, shoot. I thought he was gonna, I thought he was gonna get hit by that ball, but I guess not. Oh. Why would you go for an up? Never mind. Hmm. But you know what? I can't. We can't forget about the Game Boy Advance SP. I remember a lot of times I would play. I would just take my Game Boy Advance and start playing Metroid Fusion. And you know, even though I beat Metroid Fusion, what felt like seven times, I couldn't stop playing it because no. You know what? What I would do before I got myself an iPod and all that is that I would pause the game into an area that I know that's, that has creepy music or my favorite music and I would just leave the game running so I could hear the music. So whenever I just sit down and think and I hear the water music or I hear the 
um, what was it, AQA music. I just let it play so that I could hear, uh, so I could hear the, um, music. I mean, now I could just listen to the iPod, but before that, that's what I would do. Because it felt so nice to hear the music while you were, like, just chilling. Yeah, I figured Dark Shadow was going to, uh... Oh. <laughs> you love burning calories? I love burning bodies. Actually, I think it's more like, you love burning calories? I love burning everything. Oh no, this is an unfair match. This is an unfair match. No, this is just like... You know what, though? If you guys remember, Little Mac or fist break broke poor soul AK Robin I think last tournament because I he would he would just do a lot of damage and now he's fighting the he's fighting uh Isam Isamu I know people are, like, I already said it before but you know you just gotta adapt to fighting Kazuya I mean, there's a difference between the AI and the player. I mean, you saw how def difficult the computer is, so I wouldn't be surprised at how the AI or the amiibo would be. And again, make it easier on yourself and give yourself uh, and give yourself uh, spirits because the amiibo hits too hard. You know, even if you were to be per oh darn it, even if you were to parry and do all that stuff, the amiibo will adapt. But if you want to make it fair, where you don't want to have to like, you know, knock out the amiibo so soon. Uh, just use a weaker spirit, but you know, just give yourself a spirit and make it fair. Cause this is the first card. This may be the first one. Ooh, that's the smartest. Because now I'm also curious. Okay, that was unfair. He was all the way off. He they were too far off, too close to the uh, st uh, blast zone. But I am curious of how Sora is going to play. Cause Sora is, is going to come out in February. In fact, um. If you go to certain websites like eBay, Sora is already on for sale, but I'm not, I'm not getting that because uh, Sora has yet to be, you know, they haven't yet to add Sora yet. Oh, you, you, you countered too early, little guy. Oh, jeez. He missed it. He missed the knockout punch. Now he's, okay, he knocked him out, but he's going to come back by kick him in the face. Ooh, super armor. Oh. Oh boy. Why am I not surprised? <clears throat> no, 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 no. Oh, he did hit combo him right into the blast zone. That was disrespectful. Oh, and you parry. No, don't do it again. Don't do it again. Oh my goodness. Isamu, leave the poor guy alone. He's had enough. Okay, he just grabbed and punched him off. 25 seconds, but you he knocked you out like four four times, I think. It's over. GG's. Oh, that would have been funny if he hit it, but he's like, nope. Nope. Fist break tried. Kazuya Mishima. He broke fist break. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. 7 out of 2. Oh, boy. 4 fist break. Alright, next game is Kingpin versus Dragon Soul. I still don't have a name. Oh, look what plays. <laughs> oh, man. Now, as we know, Kingpin is slightly the boss because he has Armor Knight. But again, Armor Knight is better than Super Armor because he can be he can be hit. Or he can, he can be staggered or stunned. He just takes less damage. But these are Amiibos and they're powerful, so it should be fair. They can still, you know, do damage. What was that? You shot him into the cannon. Hello? I wanted to call him something to do with Professor, but I just couldn't think of it. And plus, I already called Dr. Mario Professor. So Dragon Souls will come to my mind since, you know, we know who Byleth is. Speaking of Byleth, I still gotta finish the three houses, but I won't be I won't be able to finish it this year. Well, before this year's over. Oh, 
Oh, Violet, what are you doing? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Plus, didn't you have an extra jump or, jump or did you use it? Why would you, that's the first time I've seen him do that. Well, actually, no, that's not the first time, but I mean, I didn't think he would still mess up because he had additional air jump. He didn't use it. Okay, he's getting with the axe. That's that's pretty. That's that's good. Oh. Okay, I was about to say that. That sh is that gonna kill? I'm surprised that uh King uh, Kingpin ran into that. Okay, you got you you gotta get in there, Dragon. So you gotta beat him. Don't you dare! Don't you do it again! Don't you do it again! Come on! He's he's tanky, but he's not invincible. You're proving that. Uh, I wish he had forward smashed him while he was trying to, you know, use the cannon. Come on! Get a knockout! Get a knockout! Doll! Oh. Ooh, that was close. That was that was close as well. Five seconds. One, you or oh boy, get off of that. Two, one. Mm, sudden death. No. No. No! You got hit by the cannon. You jumped way too many times. Oh my goodness! Doggone it, Dragon! So you threw. Even with even with armor now, you almost beat him. Why? You threw. You even choked. Why, 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 why? Fish paste. Oh, I, I don't know why my amiibos are so goofy like that. So goofy. So dumb. Anyway, Zenblade versus Blue Phantom. I'm worried because I think I might know who win. But let's see if I'm, let's hope I'm wrong. Because it's like with, I knew Zephyr was going to be Sylvia. And I knew... I was hoping Kingpin would fall to uh, Dragon Soul, but apparently Dragon Soul choked. Whatever. Can you stop using Blade Wave and just get in there? Come on, Zen. Okay, you got your what you call it. Get him. Cloud had a retrain, floaty jump, and additional air jump because he was not using his skills properly, and he couldn't use the down B after fully charging. That's what you get, Blue Phantom. That's what you get. Blue Phantom loves to use his trample, that little trampoline too much. You just like to use it way too much. And I didn't teach him that. He did it himself. See, he's doing it again. Also, I forgot he loves to spam the stupid spin dash. And that's hard coded. I get he's Sonic the Hedgehog, but come on. I don't, no one who plays Sonic that I've seen uses Spin Dash at all, but they made the Amiibos, like, work, rely on it, just because it's super, just because it's Sonic, come on, man.
That was close. Ooh, that was too close. Oh boy. At least I got him to use his his homing attack, the 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 B neutral. Don't let him get the KO. Don't let him get the KO. You idiot. You idiot. Sudden death. Boom. You fell for it. Look at that. He Sonic gave you the face of you fool. You fell for it. You try to, to stab him and he just backs up and dodge rolls and then... Oh my goodness. <sighs> <laughs> Piccolo versus uh, Tamashi. Remember when I said I changed Robin's uh, name from Soul? Well, yeah, his name is his, his nickname is now Tamashi. Cause Soul just sounds sounded kind of plain, so I just said let's give him something else. Tamashi, there you go. Piccolo, I think I need needs more training, but I'm gonna see how well he does against Robin. Cause I think they're both. Well, no, Pikachu's a defense. Robin, I think is. I don't know if he's still a grab or if he's a neutral, but he should have an advantage. But I'll be very, very sad if Piccolo beats Robin. I'll be happy for Piccolo, but sad for Tamashi. Come on, you can do Nosferatu better than that. Use res or you can do. Uh. Okay, double parry. Say if you don't punish that, because Piccolo has a bad habit of using his uh, Skull Bash too much. Now, funny thing is, I did not use Skull Bash that much. It's the computer's fault, because I didn't know how, what I was doing with Pikachu. I mean, you kind of saw it when I trained Pikachu, but man. Oh, he tried to go for the down air spike, but that blew. That failed. Get to see you use Thunderbolt. Come on, use Thunderbolt. Okay. Can you at least use Thunderbolt once, though? I've seen him use Thunderbolt a little bit, but Piccolo tends to use it when he feels like it. Because during the training, I spammed it like crazy. And he used it a little bit, but apparently the computer Pikachu doesn't want a Thunderbolt too much, even though that's his best move. Tamashi, okay, okay, that scared me, Tama okay, so Piccolo goofed, Tamashi actually struggled against Piccolo, I'm surprised, Tamashi has more experience too, I, okay, like, even though he had an advantage, he still, look at the difference, they're 5% apart, okay, so, this battle, and then the next battle, and then I'm gonna cut this into parts, this will be three parts, Cause it's a long video and I don't wanna and I'll hurt my throat talking this long. Leaf Knight and Science Star 22, who used to Science Star used to be Blue Boomer, I think. Then I felt that 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 sounded stupid. 
I just went with Cyan Star instead of Blue Boomer. And I did and I also retrained Mega Man, but Yeah, he's okay. Oh boy. Leave Knight also got a retrain. So both of them are pretty smart or smarter, just weirder. Yeah, finally, Leaf Knight uses counter. He didn't use counter that much before I, when I retrained him. Mega Man, Mega Man, Mega Man, oh jeez. Terry Bogart, but how is that gonna go when I, if I ever train him? Stop falling for that! Look how much damage you took! I'm trying to think, did I make a uh, science star defense or grab? I think he's defense still. No, he's defense because he's tricky. He's the same as uh, Yen, Yen and Yang. Both have the tricky personality. But I believe they're... Oh boy. 10 seconds left, but I think I know who's gonna win! Yup. Leaf Knight wins. Apparently the power of- Oh, you need to- No. <laughs> Hold on, did you guys see Leaf Knight just dash dance in front of him? And just taunt him for being so defensive? I- I- I can't. I can't. I can't. Alright, last battle for this round. Ma- Malu- Malu- Maluyo. Maluio versus Genetic Soul. Genetic Soul received the retraining, and Maluio is the purple inkling boy that I got off the internet as well. So I have both the green and purple, and the orange. So Luminetta and Maluio both are attacks. But one is tricky and the other is aggressive. No, Maluio is tricky. Uh, Luminetta is a is technician, which is like an aggressive with uh, with projectiles. And they both well, she, Lumena, the Inkling girl, has great auto heal, and Maluio has easier dodging and auto heal. So they both heal, but one heals more than the other, and the other doesn't heal as much but can dodge better too. Want well, to make them different a little bit, and this. This outfit would have been for the, uh, would have, uh, been for the girl, but, you know, they don't have one for the girl, so I ended up just selecting, so this is the boy, this, it's kind of funny because the color of the, uh, amiibos match the characters, but for the girl, it's, you know, for this boy, the Inkling boy is the girl, while for the boy is the girl, because, you know, he has purple, and the only magenta or purple is the, actually it's the school one, the school girl one, but, Nah, never mind. Never mind. Ooh, he waited. He waited. If he went up too early, Mewtwo would have shocked him. I have to say, these two are pretty are pretty smart for uh, Inkling uh, amiibos. So 
Speaking of Inklings, I have not been playing Splatoon at all, three, Splatoon 3 at all lately. I even wonder what will happen to Splatoon 1. Are, are, they, are we gonna forget about that game when it when the uh, internet thing when the thing shuts off? Because Ink Splatoon 1 is on the Nintendo is on Nintendo Wii U, and uh, you know Nintendo Splatoon 2 is still on the Switch, but. So people are gonna focus on two and three after one is gone. I'm th I doubt they would port one to the Switch because what's the point? Mm. But I think I've been missing a lot of like events and Splatfests. I've had not been to the mall because I really just don't. I really just lost interest in interest in Splatoon three because a lot of people say that Splatoon three feels very stale. Um, because right now, you know, we I played and beat the story mode like everyone else did. And then as for, uh, like, the online activities, you have the, uh... You know what, I'm gonna hold my thought because this battle's about to end. And after it ends, I'm gonna cut the video and then you're gonna see part two. And then part three, and then that's it for this tournament. For this year. Who's gonna win? Malawi, uh, because he was patient. So, uh... Hope you guys have had a good nice time and see you guys on part two before 2024. Maybe. Hopefully. Later!